Welcome to the Stories of God for Children. As we listen to the story of Jesus calling the disciples, let's first take some time to prepare our heart, our mind, and our body so that we are prepared to see how God will come close to us today and how we can come close to Him. One way we can do this is by lighting a candle and inviting God to be with us as we listen and hear His Word. This candle also serves as a reminder that no matter where we are, God is with us. Before we begin with our scripture, let's say our word of faith that will help us focus our time together. Today's word of faith is include. When we include, we welcome all of God's children. The stories of God come from the Bible, God's holy word. Today, take your Bible out and turn to the book of Matthew. Remember, that's the first book of the New Testament. Find chapter 4 and follow us up along as I read verses 18 through 22. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Now, check out this video clip. Greetings, it's Carly. In our story today, Jesus is walking along the Galilee Sea. As he is walking, he invites two different sets of brothers to join him on his journey. First, he calls for Peter and Andrew, and then James and John. They were all fishermen who were out working when Jesus arrived. All four of them stop what they are doing and join Jesus when he tells them to come and follow him. These are Jesus' first disciples. A disciple is someone who chooses to follow Jesus and his teachings. When Jesus tells them to come follow him, he says, I will show you how to fish for people. Wait, huh? How do you fish for people? I know you can use worms to catch fish, but how do you fish for people? Maybe you put out pizza or candy or toys? I think what Jesus meant was that he'd teach them how to bring people together with his teachings. Jesus taught about love and community, and he wanted to spread that message. One of my favorite things to do is have my friends over at my house. My mom taught me that one way I can show love is by inviting people who don't have a lot of friends to hang out or play. I found that it's really fun, and it makes them feel included. It also helps us make new friends and learn new things about each other. It's important for everyone to know that there are people who care about them. This is my way of bringing people together and following Jesus' teachings. Jesus told the disciples to go out to different places and build communities so that people could come together and hear his teachings about love. All types of people are invited to follow Jesus. We get to help build a community where everyone is included. So, if you want to fish for people, don't use worms. Try showing care and help people feel included. That's what Jesus did, and that's what he invited the disciples to do too. Now, it's time for you to wonder. I wonder if you have ever been fishing what was it like and who went with you? Did someone special invite you to go or did you invite someone? I wonder why Jesus used fishing to call his disciples. 
Use your wonder cube to think about the story today with your family. Maybe you want to take some time to use art to tell how you came close to God today through the story of Jesus calling his disciples. Don't forget to share what you've done. We'd love to see it. Let's pray together as we go. Dear God, Jesus said to come and follow, so that's what the disciples did. Jesus included me, so I will follow too. Amen. Blessings and peace to you today.